This video covers what a buffer does and how to use it. Today, we're going over the basics of how the buffer works. Now there are two extra output pins you can use. Click the button and it fires off a signal to run a macro in Clipper. Now let's check out the buffer's core features, easy to load or unload material with a single button press. Buffer will start feeding or retracting the filament once the target temperature is reached. Alright, let's get started with the tutorial. You need to prepare the signal wire yourself, cut it to the length you need. We'll need a XH2 54 4 pin connector for this, which has come with the package. The first wire is for power, it takes 12 to 24 volts. The second pin is ground. The third pin is the signal line for PB15. Next, we'll connect it to the main board. We're using the Mellow CA as an example. We'll start by connecting the signal wire to PB15. Just plug it into the right pin on the board. Now that the signal wire is connected, let's power the buffer. It works on 12 to 24 volts, same as most main boards, so you can safely connect it to the same power source. Just wire it in parallel. Or, if you want cleaner power or longer runs, feel free to power it separately. Next, we need to connect the terminals for PA2 and PA3. The black wire is the ground connection and should be connected to the GND pin on the C8 board. The red wire goes to PA2 and the white wire connects to PA3. Now it's the time to go check the connections one more time, just to avoid any mistakes. Let's power it on and test. If everything sets good, we'll move on to the clipper configuration. Let's head over to the Mellow Clipper docs. This is where you'll find all the setup guides and config files. Let's open the C8 wiring diagram and verify the pinouts to avoid mistakes when we fill out the clipper config file. When setting it up, connect the cable directly to the end stop signal port on your clipper board. We'll go over the key features. The core features covered here are filament, runout detection and manual button control. Feed button, click the PA2 pin and the buffer outputs a high level pulse signal for 3 seconds. Long press, the buffer will perform continuous feeding until the button is released. Retract button, click the PA3 pin of the buffer outputs, a low level pulse signal for 3 seconds. Long press, the buffer will perform continuous retraction until the button is released. There are two configs here, one for the main board and another for the tool board. We're on the main MCU, so we only need the main board config. Let's start by changing the pins for the filament sensor, feed button, and retract button. We've got to update the extruder config too. The first thing to set is the temp for loading and unloading filament. Set it to whatever temp works best for your go-to filament. Set the extrusion length. Adjust the load unload distance according to your extruder to nozzle path length. Then its extrusion speed and the buffer time for unloading.
Open a new tab or split the screen so we can configure and check the reference at the same time. Open a new tab and punch in the IP address of the Pi that's hooked up to your board. Find and click Printer Config. Click the Copy button on the Reference Config. Find the pin configuration you need to change. First is the filament runout sensor pin PV15. Open the pinout diagram for buffer. Connected the filament runout sensor to the second port here. Use the pin label from your printer's MCU, not the one on the buffer. Next is the PA2 pin on the buffer board. Connect it to the third port in the end stop header on the C8 board. Just type in PD10. Next is PA3 on the buffer. We've connected it to the fourth port here. The actual pin is PD11, so just type that in. Now just hit save and restart to apply the changes. Let's put it on the printer and test it out. Press the load button. It will heat up and automatically extrude filament. Then unload. Once you hit unload, keep an eye on the screen. It will show a heating prompt before retracting. Filament unloading currently requires you to hold the button down manually for auto unload. We'll need extra setup coming up in the next video.